Oh no, I'm doing the carrot wrong. Think about it, because the carrot was done with this. Oh no! <laughs> I'm bleeding. I'm okay though. Oh my god, that is super sharp. Sharp. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I got all kinds of accents and a lisp. <laughs> and I'm talking Spanish. <laughs> Get it, girl. Get it. Get it. Get you. Get. <laughs> I mean, I try to see. I try to pump it up. I try to cheer it on. Like, come on, baby, go, go. You can do it. But then this <laughs> happens. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian tries. On this Vivian tries, I have for you a brand new, as seen on television, product. Today we're trying the Vosta, the new food prep miracle that spins fresh fruits and vegetables into healthy, delicious dishes. Vasta sheet slicer. In seconds, you'll have a mountain of low carb zucchini sheets. <laughs> Tired of boring meals night after night? Vasta. In Spanish, a basta means enough. And that's what I was saying during the commercial. I'm like, basta with all those damn claims. Vasta's easy grip handle and stainless steel blade makes perfect thin sheets every time. For those of you guys who have no freaking idea or haven't seen this infomercial, which a lot of you guys have been sending me a request for this. It is a vegetable slicer that will make thin sheets of vegetables. Now, a couple of years ago, it was real trendy to make zucchini spaghetti, zagetti, I don't know what they used to call it, something like that, where they would get the zucchini, which I have here, lots of fruits and vegetables, and they would make them into like spaghetti. Fed up with all the carbs and calories? Low carb, keto, Atkins, all that shit. This is the newest, greatest little gadget for that type of stuff, except you're not making spaghetti for like a uh, lasagna. Yes, right? You can make crepes. Yes. Broccoli bites, beef potato pockets, or delicious homemade lasagna. The infomercial gives all kinds of examples. Not just for vegetables, spin your favorite fruits for delicious apple peanut butter roll-ups try these chocolate pear crepes. I am all about it because they made it look delicious. They also say that they have a website called the <laughs> Vasta Kitchen. And I went to it all excited going, ooh, a virtual recipe book, which we all love that. Mm, they had like <laughs> four recipes. Join the Vasta Virtual Kitchen where we showcase restaurant quality meals customized for your home. Access is free. But let me go ahead and start off with what really made me go cancel the commercial, take it off the TV. You know that but wait offer that they do at the end where they want you to buy it because you're gonna double your offer? You know that part of the infomercial? What did they say? Double the offer and receive a second set free. Just pay separate processing and handling. Get the second one for how much? Free. Just pay separate processing and handling. Free. So everybody's all excited. We're getting on the website, calling the 800 number. But go through the steps of trying to order. That shit ain't free. For the processing and handling fee, it's $4.99, right? But then at the bottom, there's another processing and handling fee for $9.99. So at the end, you get two for the amazing price of $30. Where's the free one? So buy it at Walmart if you want one that bad because I paid $19.99 for this one. <laughs> I'm, that's okay. I don't need to double my offer. I'm not trying to give my cousin a second one. In the infomercial, they said it's compact. And compact to fit in any drawer. They just put it in a drawer and said it was compact. Compact to me means we can fold it up like a transformer and tuck it away. That's compact. But if it's this big and we can just put it in the drawer, that's not really compact. Dishwasher safe. It has stainless steel blades. And as a bonus, you're gonna get the fettuccine blade. The fettuccine blade. And Vasta creates keto-friendly pasta with only five grams of carbs. That's it. Let's see. Okay, wait a second. It looks way smaller than it did in the commercial, didn't it? I might consider this compact. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of small. Hi. I'll shut up <laughs> for a second. Ooh, I bet that's our fettuccine blade, huh? Did you see the infomercial where they took the balloon? And <laughs> they were trying to show you how the blade is not gonna hurt you. The cutting blade is safely tucked away and won't even pop a balloon. Amazing. It's not fair to compare this to a knife. 
Look at that. I guess that's, oh. Is this what you stick in the vegetable like that? Okay, all of a sudden it's not compact when I put this end on it. Now it's just a full size appliance. So you're gonna get the Vasta base. You're gonna get the easy grip handle and then your little attachment. I looked through the manual, nothing really jumped out at me. I'm sure we can figure this out. <laughs> it looks pretty easy, right? You just put the little skewer thing through your vegetables and then you just turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. And then boom, pasta, pasta. That's a different one. That one, I didn't like either. Vasta, pasta. Do you like my hair? It looks a little red on camera. It's not this red in real life. If you haven't been following me on Instagram, you should follow me because I'm posting pictures there. It's actually like a dark blonde color, but it looks weird on camera. It's a process. It takes a couple weeks to get it all out of here. While I was talking, I was unassembling and I have no idea what the fuck this is. Let's start over. This is the Vasta. Caution, sharp blade, remove with care. It kind of looks like one of those handheld slicers. It has little feet if you want to have it propped up a little higher than it was when it first came out of the box, like that. You see it? Okay, let's see what the fettuccine noodle blade looks like. I want to keep the box there because sometimes I have to refer to the picture instead of the instructions. It's just the way I work. Here we go. Ooh, you see it? Do we not already have a gadget that'll do this at home? And this one just attaches to the top here. I don't know which way. We'll look at the instructions, but that's how this one works. We're gonna use this one later. So I pulled three recipes from their Basta Kitchen recipes, and it was the lasagna, the crepes. We're making crepes out of pears, folks. And then the fettuccine made out of carrots. What? Here on the side, they have this little red skewer thing. That's what I'm gonna call it. That's what you wanna attach your vegetables to. Based on the instructions, they want you to cut your vegetables to the two little tabs right there. That's a lot of wasted vegetables, don't you think? We're gonna have to cut there to there. And then what do we do with the ends? That's still good veggies. Hmm, that's dumb. We compromised wasting vegetables for this being compact, which I would rather have it a little longer for at least the regular size zucchini. And look at this carrot. How much of this carrot am I gonna have to throw away? Or not throw away, but you know what I mean. I can't make beautiful sheets of vegetables because your shit's compact. Some things are good compact, some things are not. For this, I'm gonna say it should have just been full size, but that's just me. Cut the ends off, slide your vegetable in. No, that's not how you do it. <laughs> I take that back, hold on, let's think about this. <laughs> ah, what you wanna do is you wanna pull it out. I was right about that. There's a blade in here, I should read instructions. Okay, it's really hard to pull out of there. So I'm gonna take this out because the instructions are actually showing you measuring with the little skewer thing here. Here. See, that's still good vegetables. Not a lot, but that's still some. We need this and it says to just place your vegetable. Oh wait, I understand now. I think you're supposed to move this. Got it, you see? You move it out so that you can place your vegetable right there. Now we put the zucchini right there in the center. My zucchini is leaning a little to the left, which don't judge. Doesn't matter. Still good. <laughs> now we want to insert the skew, but it's not centered. So what happens? It's like it moved, you see? Look, it's not centered anymore. Okay, now what do we do? It's in. Okay, we wanna move this little thing back, the blade. The lock on here is really hard. You see, all these little attaching things have to go through here and then it attaches to the actual veggie. The problem is that my veggie is not on there straight. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can kind of see through these little slots here. I don't know. Anybody who has a perfectly straight zucchini, this is not gonna line up. 
but we're gonna give it a shot because we gotta just work with what we have. Boom, just put it in there and then you just push in. Do you see how it's not aligned with this either? Did I cut it too short? No, the instructions told me to cut it right there. And then the infirmer, oh, wait. Let's see, I want magical. <laughs> Are we gonna be able to get through this video? Look, because it's not touching the vegetable. Okay, I'm gonna try to bring it down to get it all the way in this thing. Okay, keep going, Vivian. The blade is moving forward. Okay, just keep going. Okay, maybe you just gotta get the little... Look, this is the problem right here. Look at this. It completely tore up my vegetable. For like a split second, I was excited like, Ooh, you're gonna have to just apologize. Cause you were talking shit and this shit is cool, but who's apologizing to who? Maybe the blade needs to be pushed down and then locked. This little piece is not, fucker. Okay, we're gonna have to use a different piece of zucchini. Sorry about it because this is not, it's not grabbing my zucchini right. I think the lock is just to keep it open like this so that you can pull your vegetable in and out. That's fine. The problem is that, look at this. The problem is that when I have it flat and I'm ready to twist, this blade is also moving. So I wish it did have a lock to hold it down, but it, it's not supposed to. So make note of that. Now, look at this beautiful zucchini that is now ruined for life. So let's cut another one. And nowhere in the instructions is it telling me to move it forward more or anything. It's actually telling me to center it. Right there, two, right, perfect. Look at that. Okay, so, boom. Why are you so juicy? It is open, you see the little red tab up here that's the actual lock that i was fighting with a second ago and it looks like the purpose of the lock is just to keep this open while you put your vegetable in okay this one makes a little bit more sense looks good okay i'm gonna hold it because i want it to be centered because remember on the other end i have to put this in look where this is going to go in at Okay, so everybody watch it with me. I'm gonna hold it because I don't want it to move. Okay, all the way through, come on. Oh, we're just gonna go with it. It's not flush like it was when I first put it in, but it's, it's in there pretty good. My blade is still up and open. Looks longer than it did before. Now this end, you'll see, is actually straight. The vegetable is exactly in the little slots where they should be for me to insert this. Ready? Okay. I think we're making progress. It's still moving. Now, we want to close this blade by releasing the lock. The lock is so fucking hard. Oh, here. There you go. If you move it up a little bit. <laughs> the log is not as hard. Okay, now this is just sitting on top of your veggie, okay? There's nothing holding this blade in place, meaning there's a little spring there, but if I start doing this, the blade also moves with the vegetable. That's a defect, I think, in my opinion. I'm not an engineer. I don't know shit, but just my opinion. See all this vegetable that's about to go to waste? I don't like that. You guys ready? Here we go. Cross your fingers. Ready? One, two. Go girl, go girl. Oh, come on, I want lasagna. Okay. Get it, get it, get it. <gasps> oh, we got a sheet. <laughs> okay. Vivian, say you're sorry, say you're sorry. Say I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, because that's looking good. You just got to cut it right. Okay. <laughs> okay, yay. And look at that. Look at it. <gasps> Wow! <laughs> kind of like lasagna, kind of not. What am I gonna do with this one? Why can't I do it manually? Can I do it manually? 
I'm kind of nervous, you guys. I have to be careful with that damn blade in there. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to push that out. It's kind of stuck. You see, this is not a job for like children or people with like weak arms like me. Okay, here we go. See, that was a trick. Don't do it with a knife though. Got it. You're gonna have to have some upper body strength, at least for the attachment pieces. The turning is not too bad, but the attaching and the locking and all of that shit, have some strength. Boom, perfect. Look at all these vegetables over here. You're gonna have to do like some kind of stir fry or something. You can't waste all that. I think the pro tip here is make sure that you're aligning the bottom, this piece on. That's the most important part, I think. I wanna keep it straight at the bottom and then put the skewer in. That's the trick, maybe. Now, okay, it's in. See, you have to align it. At the bottom, there's a little hole that this needs to go into. You see, when this happens right here where there is like a little bit of a gap, shit's about to go to hell. <laughs> it is what it is. That's just, what do you want me to tell you? God dang it. It's not, okay. Go. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> I mean, maybe I got a good grip. Okay. <gasps> okay. How exciting. This might work. Let's see. <laughs> oh no, I'm breaking my zucchini, my lasagna. Okay, let's open it. Take it apart. That one wasn't too hard to get take off. You see, maybe you just gotta get used to all this stuff. I don't know. I hate it and then I don't hate it. I'm kind of on the fence. This faster just to cut yourself straight down. Nope. See, it's not catching the little hole at the bottom. Should. See, the lock releases. You know when you have a screw and a screwdriver and then you strip the screw and then you're screwed? <laughs> if you strip the vegetable on this end, you're screwed because now there's no grip. This one's not screwed because I'm gonna turn it around the other way. We're not wasting vegetables. Who the hell? You see how it stripped my screw? Flip it to save it. See, and I'm pulling it up this way because I need to align that so that it gets in that little hole. They didn't show all this part in the infomercial. Each one is identical so they'll bake, grill, or air fry perfectly even. They just showed the cool part of just like all the sheets. Look at the sheets coming out. Mm. Yeah, but the assembly of these things. Come on, baby, come on, you can do it. Okay. Get it, girl, get it, get it, get you. Get. <laughs> I mean, I try to, see, I try to pump it up. I try to cheer it on. Like, come on, baby, go, go, you can do it. But then this <laughs> happens. I wanna say I'm 50-50, but I'm not. I'm 75% disappointed, look at all this waste, and 25% impressed. That's not good, we're failing so far. Let's try the carrots. Maybe the zucchinis are a little bit more delicate. There aren't different instructions for different vegetables. That also concerns me because this is way different than this. And both of these are way different than that zucchini that we just did. Let's see. Cut, nice, cut. I know, my cutting board is right there, it's being used. Put your carrot in the center. See how the carrot is also not straight? How the hell? <laughs> I all of a sudden had a lisp. <laughs> what if I try to pierce it through the center and then I wiggle it around until I hit the hole? <laughs> what about that? The cutting blade is safely tucked away and won't even pop a balloon. Amazing! Oh no, I'm doing the carrot wrong. Think about it, because the carrot was done with these. Oh no! <laughs> I'm bleeding. <laughs> Call the ambulance. <laughs> this is very sharp and I just grabbed it straight like this. I'm about to faint. I can't see blood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay though. Oh my god. That is super sharp. Sharp. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I got all kinds of accents and a lisp. 
and I'm talking Spanish. <laughs> Don't let kids use this because it's this one hells to the no. I should have left the guard on this. I don't know why I took it off. Listen, I think there should be all kinds of guards now. Now that I've cut myself. Okay. Do you see? This is not easy, like snap it into place. It's in. See, it doesn't fit like this, but the instructions are telling me to don't do it like that. It goes like this. I had it upside down. <laughs> This should be super easy because it's supposed to be fun for the kids. I'm too nervous to use it now. Put this in there. The skewer. The steps are easy once you do them. I don't think I would use this more than just for this video. They're real. Look at that. It didn't even go through the carrot right. This time I'm going to hold it, but I'm scared because how am I protected if I hold it with this skewer thing? The zucchini wasn't even this scary, but the carrot is scary because it's not as firm. You better have some upper body strength, I'm telling you. Oh, did we get it? No, look. That's it, I'm just, I'm done. Remove the lock. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we'll give it a try. I can't believe this shit. Look at this. and Basta creates keto-friendly pasta with only five grams of carbs. What am I supposed to say to this? Look how easy it was in the damn commercial. As a matter of fact, they never showed us anything but zucchini, right? And squash. Did they show us carrots? Did they show us any other vegetables? I don't remember. Do you? Did y'all see the dessert bullet? They might be cousins. The pear is the perfect length. I don't even need to cut it. So this should be pretty straightforward. It didn't get in the hole, so now I have to wiggle it in there till I find it. That blade right there, that is that long one, it makes me nervous. Ah, there we go, there we go. It's in, nice. The pear looks beautiful on there. Now the pear has a thick ass. <laughs> so it, it should get all of it. Ready? Got it. <laughs> Nope, <laughs> I didn't get it. I thought I got it because it kind of snapped into place, but it's not even touching the fucking pear. You see what I'm saying? That blade right there and me going like this, can you imagine my knuckles? <laughs> it had been over, but I would got it on tape, so. Who says tape <laughs> on video? Ready? Oh, come on, baby. Okay. Am I going to get crepes at least? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. Order the second one, maybe. <laughs> oh, my God. I think the pear is probably the best one out of all of them. See, I told you. Sometimes... Miracles happen. So, did we get a lasagna today? No. Did we get pear crepes? No. Did we get carrot fettuccine alfredo? No. Did we get a second one for free? No. Do I need a refund? Yes. Is it made well? Kind of. Is it as easy as they made it seem in the infomercial? Hell no. Are you gonna get some? Yes, there's a sheet right there. So, for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Vasta slicer two vivian heads all right you guys so that is it for another vivian tries i hope that you have enjoyed this video if you have give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below let me know if you've seen a cool ass scene on television product that you think i should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode if you're new to the channel subscribe i'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.